All right, I am on my way to Benton Falls. I have made it up here. <clears throat> it's almost sunrise. Nice and bright. Um, and I am the only person here. I did not see anybody even at the campground. And so we're going to see what it looks like down at the falls. We've had a little rain here lately. The trail is wet, so I might have some water down there. I'm not going to bother you with um, filming the entire walk down to the falls. It takes 20 or 30 minutes. But I will tell you, I haven't been here in a while. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun day. Let's hope. One thing I'll mention on the way, see if I can get this maybe out away from my face just a little bit. Um, one thing I'll mention along the way is that I now have the Canon R6 Mark II, and I'm going to try that out down here at the falls. And so I have my DJI Pocket 2 that I'm videoing with now, and I brought my EOS R to set up to do some video as well. And this will be the first time that I have attempted to do everything in 4K. I don't know that it matters, but uh, you can leave me a comment below if you think that this video turned out better than others as far as uh, video goes. And hopefully, I won't forget to turn my microphone on. We'll see. So I'm here at the falls and I just realized that a couple of uh, things that I shot earlier as a narration of my walk, I shot as pictures instead of video, so it's not there. I'm not going to video myself walking down this trail because it's wet and it's slippery, uh, but it is easy to get down. There's no, there's no real problem. I just don't want to get my concentration bothered somewhere. So uh, we're almost there. We are here at the top of the falls, and I think I'm going to have some water. Let's turn around and show you what I got. So this is the creek coming down, and it is flowing past me here. And you can see that it builds up some strength, and there's a nice fog coming off the water. I'm not sure the DGI is going to pick it up. Um, I say it's fog. It's actually uh, cold. Which is the other thing, it's about 32 or 33 degrees down here. I brought my fleece Hawkland jacket to wear underneath this hoodie. But when I got out of the car, I realized that hiking down here, um, that was just gonna be way too hot by the time I got here. So I have on a long sleeve Henley shirt, which is kind of warm. And then this hoodie, in case I need to cover up my ears uh, when I get down to the bottom. but. Right now, I'm very comfortable. All right, so I've got my first composition just right here at the bottom of the, of the waterfall. I've got this big rock over here. Where is over here? It's kind of out of the view of this camera uh, as a foreground and some rocks down at the bottom as a foreground. And I've got the whole falls in play. Um, and it's at about four tenths of a second, which is not long enough. So. I have a three stop. Yeah, this is my three stop. Uh, first of all, let me make sure that I've got the circular polarizer taking some of the shine off. There we go. And the three stop circular polarizer. This is my case magnetic. Uh, and uh, it works really, really well. And that gives me two and a half seconds, which is much more what I want, I think. I've got a lot of brightness up at the top, and so I'm going to take two or three images to kind of darken that down a little bit so I can maybe blend them later. So right now I'm focused on this big rock right here, and a two-second timer. Let that go. And I like what that did with the water. So because uh, in Lightroom, 
the Canon uh, RAW files in Lightroom don't show you where you focused. So on the back of the camera, I can see a little red square, but when I pull them into Lightroom, I don't know where I focus. So I'm going to take a shot with my two fingers in front of the lens to let myself remember this is my second shot. So typically when I focus stack at a waterfall, I'm shooting three images and I'll focus close up, sort of midway, and then I'm going to focus up at the top where I can darken that top down a little bit. And we'll get three shots that way. So I'm going to put two there. And there we go. And then I'm going to focus. So I focus sort of up into the trees, up about maybe two thirds of the way up the waterfall. And I'm, I'm shooting all of these at F11 and an ISO of 100. And then the, the shutter speed will vary, but all of my images today will be at F11 and 100. So now I'm going to get a third shot. Put three fingers up so I remember. And I'm going to focus sort of up at the top. And that darkens that top down quite a bit. And so I'm, I'm going to protect the highlights that way with this shot right here. And then hopefully when I blend them all together, um, I will have something worth seeing. So I'm going to take one more shot here just because I, I see um, a rock down here at the bottom that I want to make sure that I've got sharp. So I'm going to focus down here at the bottom. There we go. So I'll actually have four images to this shot. And we'll see what that looks like. Uh, we'll put this up in the screen now. Okay, so I'm out here in the water. Let's see if I can get down. Maybe I get down here where uh, you can actually see me in the video. <laughs> I'm out here in the water and uh, it's a little cool, but I'm okay. Uh, so I have this composition. It's a little crooked at the moment, so I'm going to straighten it up here just a little bit. I've got this set all the way to 15 millimeter and I'm focusing on this rock right here in front of me. And I still have my three-stop neutral density filter on, which gives me about a second and a half. And let me see if that's going to be enough. Yeah, now, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, I'm going to have to put it out just a little more than that. So I have the circular polarizer on, but it's not, uh, it's not the case filter polarizer. I have that on the 105. And so with this polarizer, it's pushing the filter out just far enough that at 15 millimeter, I get a lot of vignetting around the edges. So I'm going to put that in a little bit. I'm going to recompose here. And I might, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring that down a stop. So I am shooting at one and a half seconds here, focusing on this rock. Much better. I will set up for my second shot here. I'm going to focus about halfway up the waterfall. And then I'm going to take my third shot. And I'm going to focus up here at the top where I can take those highlights down just a little bit. I've also done uh, 
an exposure compensation of minus one on this shot just to try to help with that light up at the top of the waterfall. And I think when I bring all of those together, I think I will, I think I will like that shot. Okay, so I'm closer into the waterfall here. Uh, and again, I don't know if you can see me back there or not, so I'm gonna get down just a little bit. I'm closer into the waterfall here, and I've got a rock right here in front of the camera. Now, the nice thing about the 15 to 35 is that if you're down low, the things right up next to the camera get enlarged. So I don't have the whole waterfall in the frame here. I just have uh, sort of the first two, the first two levels. This level, this level up here, that's in the frame. And so I am shooting at one fifth of a second because I've taken my neutral density filter off. And that really, that, 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 that does what I need with the water. So I'm going to, uh, Take a couple of other shots here to get another focus stack. I'm going to focus on the edge of this rock right here, which with the 15 to 35 feels like it's a long way away, but it's not. And then I'm going to take my third shot and I'm going to focus up on the black rock right next to the waterfall. And again, I've still got it at um, I've still got it at a minus one exposure compensation, just so that I can sort of darken things down a little bit. I don't want to blow that water out. Um, and so I was wrong. I'm at I'm at an ISO of 200, um, which is fine. It's a little dark down here. And uh, so I'm going to walk around and get a few more shots. I'm not going to bother you with video, but we'll put the shots up in the screen as we sort of walk around. And maybe I'll be able to stand straight up. Okay, so I think I'm finished up here with what I need to do today. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed being dressed properly to actually get out in the water and not be stuck on these rocks. So my feet are a little cold, but they are dry. Uh, and uh, so that's really all that matters. And I've got another pair of shoes I can put on when I get back to the car. So I got my backpack on. I had a little snack, I uh, got my water, and I'm ready to hike back out of here. The hardest part of this hike is climbing these stairs to get back to the trail. <laughs> um, so the trail is really, really easy, um, but I would recommend that you not do what I did and forget a walking pole, walking stick. It would be really nice to have it to get up and down this, this uh, stairway um but you know it is what it is and i'll be fine so uh, we'll throw up some pictures from the day and we will see you all next time <laughs>